Hey guys, this is a quickie video. I'm trying to get it in before Christmas in case you guys are short on gift ideas or whatnot. Uh, you might remember my mermaid blanket review um, that I did a couple of months ago. Well, I I don't know how I missed it, but I had no idea they actually did gothic um, Halloween slash gothic blankets. And uh, I was going to do a giveaway, but... I didn't really get enough feedback from people to do a giveaway and there was a problem miscommunication with the company as well so this is a bust for now but I will link you and show pictures of the other blankets in the set that I had been interested in uh, I've got one here in front of me and it is still quite beautiful um, I wish that I had known about these beforehand because these are the ones that I would have loved to have reviewed because all of my followers are into the alternative gothic subculture and they like cool stuff like this and I think that this right here would have been a massive selling point if I had only known about it but better late than never so here's the one that I have it's this beautiful castle nighttime Halloween scene it's a long blanket it's not one of the short ones um, it's got this double edged here. This is a, a light one. So this is like a summertime one, not necessarily a winter one because it feels very lightweight. Um, of course, it doesn't have scales on it or anything. It's just a really pretty picture. So it's got your bats here and the castle, nice dead tree, some bats there, another castle. And the yellow is quite bright against the dark background, which is really cool. And then it fades into some more trees and the tail is just simply a black and blue striped tail. And when you flip it over, this is just what it looks like on the other side, nothing special, um, just a blanket, but I have not tried this on yet. I wanted to hurry up and get the video out there first, but it's soft. It's just as soft as the other ones are and quite unique. Um, it's like a hidden treasure <laughs> that they had these gothy Halloweeny kind of blankets there and, uh, I'm really, really impressed with the detail in this one, probably more than the other ones, because this has actually got scenery on it. It's not just scales or, you know, a pattern. It's it's actual scenery, and you can tell right away what it is. There's no mistaking what it is. It is absolutely beautiful and the pride of my collection at the moment. I really, really love this blanket, and I will link you to this one so you guys can check it out for yourself, and I will add photos and links to the other ones that are kind of alternative that I think you guys might be interested in and so let me know what you think if you think this is an awesome blanket like I do or what this is just this is totally my style right here love it love it love it love it love it and you can guarantee like this is the one I'm going to be using the most it's actually so pretty and cool looking I kind of wish I could just like hang it up you know like up there or up there or something because it's almost like a little mural and because it's so long I think that it would actually work out quite well. I'm going to see if I can slide it on. Um, Logan's at work, so I don't have anybody to help me. Um, but I'll see if I can stand in front of my mirror and slide it on for you guys. Okay, so it's a full-length tail. It would go up. Uh, I don't know where I am. I can't see. But it would go up. <laughs> I don't have makeup on. I don't want to show my face. I mean, I do have makeup on, but I look like shit. Anyway, um... So yeah, this this is high enough to go up over your head if you're short like me. Um, if you're not short like me, it still would be full body because as you can see, it's not pulled tight. That's where my feet are. And that's the fin. I, I can't hold the camera and spread it out myself. Sorry, but you guys can get the idea. You see what it looks like on. It's, it's even more flattering when it's on, if you can believe that. I think it looks absolutely amazing and oh my god I'm doing vertical video aren't I sorry <laughs> so now you can truly be a gothic mermaid I'm just kidding um, anyway so let me know what you guys think if you like seeing this kind of stuff and if I get more if I find out about more things like this if you'd be interested in seeing reviews or links sharing and showing you guys some cool stuff like this and I will see you guys next video. Hope you guys have a great Christmas. Um, my family's not having Christmas again this year, but, you know, you guys might be having a great Christmas. Um, we're going to have 
a family dinner. I think that's about it. <laughs> um, waiting to hear if Logan's lost his job again later today, so that's not really all that great. So this video is a nice little distraction for me, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed it too. And let me know if you buy it, or if you're like, oh my god, that's so cool. And I'm sorry I couldn't show you guys the other ones. I had a whole stack of like nine blankets that I was going to review, and I don't know what happened. Um, this is the only one I got, so instead of waiting to talk to them about it, I just wanted to make the video on this one. But um, yeah, this is from Dress Lily again. Good company. They're really easy to talk to, really easy to work with, and um, yeah, I highly recommend buying from them. You don't have to worry about anything with them because as far as I've seen, there are no issues. And even if you have an issue, they're, they're quite good at fixing it for you. Um, not a scam site, which is the most important thing of all. Make sure that you don't send your money to a scam site. But these guys are pretty good. So um, they have my, you know, my thumbs up. And I'll see you guys after Christmas. Take care and have a great holiday season or whatnot. <laughs>